You're welcome back to the show, Political Time with me, Gifty Ando, up here on ABN uh, here in the UK and uh, across Europe. I'm in the studio with two strong men of uh, uh, both political parties who are in the lead, of course, uh, wanting our mandate. Edmond Setro represents the NPP. Uh, Kofi Kwachi represents the NDC. We're into our regional debate segment, and we're talking today about the Ashanti region. The Ashanti region represents one of Ghana's major ethnic groups and it hosts one of the country's culture which has endured over time. I'm talking about the symbolism of the Ashanti kingdom. The region is administered through district under the direct supervision of the Regional Coordinating Council which is headed by the minister and his deputy with representation of courts from the Ashanti Regional House of Chiefs. The major economic activities here are wholesale, retail, trade, manufacturing and provision of personal and social services. This is mainly in the big towns like Kumasi. But in the rural areas, people are mainly into agriculture and a bit of animal husbandry. Women and children dominate in this region. Literacy levels are low, especially in the rural areas, according to government statistics. We're going to start by talking to the NDC. They have our mandate already. How would you say that the government that is led by your party has improved a lot of these people over the years? I mean, you've been in power for like uh, so far for like six years? Yeah, seven years. Seven years? Eight years, apparently. Uh, uh, okay. John Mahama has been in power for four years. Okay. Know, but the, that's the NDC has yeah. been in more than that. So tell us how you have improved the, the lot. Specifics, please. Yeah. I think that, you know, the government recognized that, you know, um, as a nation, we were told that um, we have $10 billion, uh, $10 billion worth of infrastructure deficit. So government recognized that in building, in trying to um, restructure and re, um, rebuild our economy, restructure the economy or transform the economy, we need to rebuild our infrastructure or we need to catch up or, or bridge the gap of deficits that we have. So government embarked on a massive infrastructure development across the country. And our central region has not been left out. Um, I'll start with education. You know, government has built across our central region a lot of um, uh, schools. Um, we're building secondary school, the community day secondary school that we are building. Mm -hmm. you know, that I think there's 17 of them in, in our Shanti region. If you come to the tertiary institution, the, the, the polytechnics have been in, converted into university, technical universities. If you go to KNU NEC, it has been expanded. You know, the, the, the laboratory, two major lab laboratories have been built there and expanded as well, you know, with, with you know, modern day equipment, you know. So I think that in terms of education, that is where government is uh, focusing to empower people to, to be able to do something for themselves. And that is why the government has also brought in these um, um, uh, youth em empowerment schemes, mm -hmm. you know, like the YES and the YE, you know, where government is trying to create or create enterprise, you know, in creating awareness to the youth and, and graduates so that you can become your own employers, you know, you can, you can employ people rather right. than depending on government to employ you. So you create your own businesses, create your own enterprises, create your own ventures with government support and government help. You know, those are the things that government is doing for the youth in the region. When we go to agriculture, government is supporting the farmers with, with you know, subsidized, 60% subsidized fertilizers. Mm. And, and, and building... There have been a whole lot of politics about that as well, hasn't there? Well, there, well I mean, the politics will always people be say, People say that the NP, people who are known to be NDC get to be, that, you know... That, that I don't buy, because the government, you know, farmers across the board, you, how, how would you uh, discriminate against farmers? Everybody's growing food, and when the food is but coming... But we've heard the complaints. No, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't believe the complaints, because if the food is coming to the market, they don't print to them NDC and MPP. It comes, and we all eat from... The mm. farmers, so the government is supporting every farmer that they can reach. You know, so I personally don't think those those complaints are something. You think they are politically you know, motivated? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, and so the, the support there with with, the, with with our farmers, you know, what which the government is pro providing. Government has now built um, mechanization centers, you know, with um, um, equipped with tractors and technical assistance. So if a farmer needs a, a support, they can always go to the mechanization center. You know, if the threat is that what they need, it will be provided. If they need technical assistance, the assistance is there for, for, for them to utilize in terms of their um, um, farming as well. Okay. I'll, I'll quickly go to health. Government is building hospital across the region, across the country, and our central region has not been left out. There is a massive um, um, hospital, uh, the military hospital that is being built in, 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 mm -hmm. in, in Kumasi. 
apart from Kumasi, there's district hospital across the district. There's Tepa, there's Bekwai. Um, you know, all those hospitals are, are being built now to, to support the the NHIS, you know, because if you create a scheme, there must be the structures there to support the scheme. Well, the NHIS know. itself is suffering, it's seriously not suffering. bleeding, isn't it's it? It's not. It is not. That is what people tell you. That is what people want, to, want you to believe. My grandmother, who is about 60, yeah. has complained to me bitterly. I have complained. I have complained about the NHS in this country. I'm sure you do. We're, I'm sure. we're, we're not doing comparisons yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you, are the one, you are the one who has our, you, who has our money. I'm saying, I'm saying that the scheme... It's a work in progress. It's, it's okay. always going to improve. There's always, it is, we haven't reached there. We haven't, the, the health uh, scheme would never be um, um, full. We all, there's always going to be an improve, improvement, you understand? Okay. So if somebody has a complaint to, today, I can show you that in 10 years' time, somebody will have a complaint. So I that, that Let's is, come back that to that the not, uh, That does not indicate that the, the, the scheme is bleeding. Let's come back um, to I the think it, Well, you know, so the, the healthcare form. facilities that the government is providing, equipping, re-equipping the hospitals with modern day, um, equipment, you know, to support the, um, um, what do you call it, right. the hospitals. Let's look at the local the economy. We know there's a major manufacturing hub in uh, yes. Swami Magazine, for yeah. instance. Let's talk about that, how you're harnessing the local economy of the Ashanti region with your restructuring Yes, the, 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 the Swami Magazine team, you know, um, I think it should be the, the rebuilding of this, the whole Swami thing will be the next um, um, phase of uh, some of the things that government is doing in, in, in Ashanti region. Because now government is focusing on, on you mentioned um, petty trading and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. you, you, you and I know that the Kumasi Central Market is being rebuilt, reconstructed to a modern um, um, uh, facilities. The same as applies to KJT, KJTR into, mm -hmm. into a lorry park and a, a, a mall over there, you know, to harness uh, and support some of these trading that people do in, in the region. I think the government recognizes that Central Region is a very, very key and it can, be, it can become a hub you know, especially situated in the mid midlands of the of the country. You know, it's it's a key um, um, town for for for, okay. for government um, activities. R as well. for me, and that please. is why the government is focusing there. So, if you look at what in the infrastructure, the Kumasi Airport that the government has um, converted into um, international. Um, standard. Is it yet international? Yeah, it is, it, it is international. I know they can, you can fly in the evening, but, no, it but, is, but, but, it, but it's it is, not. It is international airport. Okay, if, wrap if up you, for me, please. If you look at this um, 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 ITA or civil aviation um, 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 definition of international airport, Kumasi Airport fit into that perfectly. Okay, you know, wrap so up for me, that will also support, you know, um, trading okay. and, and cutting off uh, cargo in and out of the country. Okay, okay. You know, previously, cargo has to come to Accra. And then it's, it's, it's transported on the road mm. to, to back mm. to the Midlands. If you end now, here, I can come back and maybe we can do a minute of you know wrap-up reaction to that because you haven't spoken. The MPP, you have heard all that he has said. For anybody who is listening, who is not there to verify, of course, to these things, they will say that the NDC has done a lot. What are your plans? You say you are an authentic, alternative for us. Thank you very much. See, when uh, my honorable friend, Honorable Kumasi Central what did you he was dithering, and it tells a lot about government that we have given money to do things for us. What do you think they're not doing right? They're not doing anything. Tell no. me about it. I come from Ashanti region. I've been there to campaign, and I saw how people are suffering. Let me tell you one thing. When they started the scheme of NHIS, the pilot scheme in Ashanti, mm -hmm. do you know how many people died? Do you know how many people died? How many people died? Tell me. I, I, I don't want to frighten you. Right. Oh. I don't want to frighten <laughs> well, you. Well, nothing else frightens me see, about see, Ghana's politics. <laughs> Let's move on see, to the issues. You don't know how many people died. Okay? So this is some of the things I'm telling you that mm -hmm. Mr. Kwache is diddling. With figures. They are praying to the he has given you, you he has given you areas okay. he thinks they have improved. Right. Tell right. us what yes. you think they are not doing right and they what you would do yeah. right they if we give you the mandate. They are not doing anything right. So far as I'm concerned. You talked about um, Swami magazine. Okay? Go there. See, the see, you have to start from the basics. One, the structuring itself, I believe that we need to improve. It. Okay. Okay? For magazine. And in doing that, we need to improve. They have been in government for eight years. Approximately. They haven't invested. And they are talking to us that they are going to. And that's their mantra. They are going to, oh, we put things in place, and there's nothing there. Okay? We need to invest. And the cost of doing business 
in Ghana is one of the highest in the whole world. The cost of doing business in Ghana. Go and find out from uh, if they, the same IMF well back. The cost of doing business in Ghana. And how can you invest in a country that doing business is so hard? Let's put it aside. You're talking about um, things like uh, schools. Mm. When we were in government, we improved all the secondary schools in, in most of Ghana. And for that matter, in Ashanti region alone, we had my hometown, Suta, Islam Secondary School. I'm giving an example Islam Secondary School, Amenian Point Secondary School, Adrijanfi Secondary School, and so on and so forth. Yeah? They were all upgraded. He's saying that they've added more. They haven't. Go there now. You see, that is the NDC for you, Gifty. They will tell you they've done it. You go there and do you see that there's nothing there. That is me. I've it's your there. hometown. Isn't there anything? Uh, he's saying there's about 17 new, new secondary okay. schools. Look, Gifty. Is I that not thought, true? I would have thought that you proved there a bit more. Because Mr. Kwachi didn't come up with any single one. He, said he, said he cannot when, do that off, you off see, the top of his head. When you are coming to a studio and you, well, you call yourself a chairman of a party and you are, you are impressed with, the, with, with whatever information that is coming from the government, he represents the government here. I'm representing my, country, my, my party. And therefore, I should be able to tell us what our, our party wants me to tell them. So if it, Mr. Kwachi cannot come here and convince Ghanaians and especially me as Monsechere, that we build 17 schools in Ashanti region. I'm telling Mr. Wachi today, and for that matter, the world in Canada, it is not true. Mm. Wrap up for me on his, his position on agriculture. He said that they are supporting farmers in the where? rural areas. You see, Ashanti region is one of the cocoa growing areas. Yeah? Ask them, and you say something, fertilizers. If you are not NDC, you won't get it. We brought a system where... We he says those things are politically motivated. It is not true. It is not true, Gifty. Give me a, a, a minute to, to, to say this. Please. You said something about your mother and NHIS. My and grandmother. And they said your grandmother. And he said it's not true. And this is it. You cannot compare. The, the mistake he did was comparing in a, in, uh, NHS here and Ghana. I think it, it's a no-go area to start with. Two, anything you come out to say there is so, oh, no. It hasn't happened, but it's happening. It is true. Let me come back to what I was saying. We brought free cocoa spraying in Ghana. You know what? I have a friend Nigerian I work with. You know our the the, the insecticide that we use to spray it. Be they wrapping sell, up for me. They sell it in Nigeria, made in Ghana. From from Ghana. They sell it in Nigeria market. And you are telling me, and now the scheme has collapsed. So the tongues, when we came on it was one million. Now it's four hundred. They know the figures. I'm not telling them. Go to the IMF the people, they've asked them to come and help them to give them the figures. I'm telling them here in the studio. Okay, so to be, if it's here, to be, to be, to be, I'm telling the figures. So they are not doing, look, when I was campaigning, I went to such a front place. That place is rich in cultivating uh, agriculture. So what's when, your alternative? The when they, alternative? When they do um, beans, yeah, beans, you know, black eye beans, mm -hmm. how do they, how do they, uh, 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 transport it. They cannot. It will be there. And for the roads are extremely poor. The roads are very, very, very poor. You need to put things in place before you say that, oh, I'm supporting. If you haven't put the food in place, health is not good. They, they cannot get the water. They cannot go to school. Mm. How do they come around okay. to tell me or convince Ghanaians that they are doing well? I went there. Uh, that should uh, be a wrapper for me yeah. on this. The guy came to me. He, he brought his uh, certificate. A A A A A B B B. But he couldn't can't go, go to he school. Couldn't, he couldn't go to a uh, dress secondary school because he cannot get anybody to sponsor him. So I took it upon myself. I said, I will do that. And okay. now he's there. So these are some of the things that they cannot blind us. They have to come out with the truth that they are not doing much. I'm not saying that they haven't done anything. They might do one or two. But in terms of the propaganda, they are putting it in place and telling Ghanaians that they've done uh, 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 okay. skyscrapers in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in in one of their space or Mars okay. or Jupiter. It is not true. It is not true. We ended there. 13 minutes. Uh, we're, we're done. Right. Um,
I'm coming to you for a very quick reaction. That's supposed to be in one minute, and then I'll take your quick reaction in one minute. That should end this discussion. When we come back, we'll go into our voter education, uh, which is still on the region as well. So the, if there are any things you've left, we can come in. Quick reaction, one I, minute. I think, I think that, you see, um, I, I wouldn't, some of these things that, you know, is being said, I I, there's no point in responding to them, you know, okay. because the, you know, that is what I said from, I, I said to you that, you know, the president's campaign is evidence-based. When the president went on the accounting that people tore, we all saw the projects there. So if you sit here and you say that they are not there, fine. You can you can deceive your, you can uh, you know say that to yourself all you want. But the point is that the projects are there. Is there a hospital being built? Is there a military hospital be being built in Kumasi? Yes, it is being built. Is there market being built? Yes, it's being built. Are there schools being built? Yes, they are. Are there roads being built? Yes, they are being built. Are they are they farmers being given? Um, subsidies on um, fertilizers, yes. Are cocoa roads being constructed in and rehabilitated in, in Ashanti? Yes, they are. Okay. You know, all these things are happening. These are evidence based. You can point to them and you can see them physically. So if somebody says here, yeah, we are not doing, we are, we are, we are, we, we, they, are, they, they are telling us that we are doing propaganda. If town okay. God that the people who are benefiting from this project lives in Ghana, they don't live okay. in this place. So they, and thank God they are the ones who are going to actually do the voting. Voting, right. You know, so, so when it comes, you know, this, you should go and tell the people that, oh, oh boy, they haven't built any school. And then the, the people will tell, oh, the schools are there. You okay. can see them. All right. Thank you very much for that comment. Quick one, one minute for you as well. I still say that uh, um, NDC government hasn't done enough for the people of Ashanti region. Okay. And, and, and for that matter, I'm urging uh, the Ashanti region to throw them out and bring NPP into power. And we are the people that have got heart to do business with. Well, let me tell you something. When Maslo, President Gufo brought it, they said that we cannot do it. We did it. It worked. When President wife introduced in Brunha for what happened, it collapsed and people are dying. They are committing suicide. So let my friend know that these things is, cannot be sustained in a country like Ghana. Okay. Therefore, Ghanaians and for that matter, our central region, we are going to vote them out. And it's as simple okay. as that. We'll see about that. We are going to vote them out. That's what he says. He says, we have done it. The evidence is there for you to see. So maintain us. We'll see about that. We're wrapping up on that conversation. We'll come back to talk about voter education, where I tell you about how the Ashanti region has voted. And then we'll do a bit of politics with that. The show is still Political Time with me, Gifty. And our peer, please stay tuned.